Okay. So, oh, I gotta change the stream information real quick. Um, version, what is it, 0 0.4.0. Scripting utility. X. Programming. Python. Yep. Software development. And done. Alright. Just gonna double check, make sure that's been updated. Okay, cool. There we go. Live stream is ready to go. So. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at doing uh, AHD, so it's been a little bit since I've been on live stream with AHD. Uh, so we'll take a look at working on some of these version 4.0 changes. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's basically going to be it. If you haven't seen anything to do with AHD before, uh, AHD basically is a system. Actually, you know what, I have to use AHD to start this up. Uh, HD is a system basically for registering commands, so I have actually a command set up called AHD dev, and what this does is it basically CDs into the working directory that I'm using and opens up Visual Studio Code for me. And so that's basically what AHD does, and so that's what we're going to be using today, uh, that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, and so we're going to be working on doing, uh, where are the tasks? Splitting entry point items into discrete functions. So currently we have a couple of different um, entry point commands. Let me just open this up again, sorry. Uh, so AHD docs, for example, opens up the current docs. Uh, HD register, well, actually, I'll just show you what them all are. Uh, docs, config, register, and then whatever the command name is here. Um, and so basically with this, we can go ahead and start splitting these out into actual functions. And then once you split them into actual functions, we can start doing what I kind of want to do all along, which is the testing. Because currently the only thing that we can test is the pre and post processing of paths. And, uh, and that's about it. So uh, everything else kind of black box as far as testing goes. So we're going to write, split everything up into discrete functions, and then we'll be able to actually properly test it, which will be nice. Uh, we don't need that box folder anymore. Perfect. Cool. So, um, to begin with, I guess let's start with all of our functions. So I don't think that docs, oh, docs will because we need, hey, you know, yeah. Okay, so it will need to be its own function. So pre and post processing the paths, we'll just leave it at the very bottom here and then we'll just start from here. So, uh, we will do define, uh, should I put a, no, we'll just do, yeah, docs, that should be fine. Um, so let's say API, which is equal to false, and offline, which is equal to false also. And then in here, let's just do pass for a second. Let's quickly grab what happens. So if argument docs, then run docs with, what is it? API and then offline. Offline. If not, sorry, API. And so I think I can literally just take this and chuck it into here. Just like that. Go one further in, go one off. So if not docs and not offline, do that else. And then we have offline and API. Uh, and not API. And we'll do that, which will need to be to do 
build local docs. Local user docs. Uh, implement. So in this case, this is actually. So if offline and not API, go to the user docs. Elif API and not offline, then we want to do uh, Elif API if offline web browser dot open and then we want to care what dots. A slash, what was it? What was this? AHD? Um, else do that and then exit. Okay, so let's just see what we got here. So pip uninstall AHD, we'll uninstall the current copy. Oh, uh, actually. What we need to do first is we need to get checkout to be 0.4.0 so that we're not. Oh. I typed like git branch. Get checkout. Uh, and then we also need to go into setup and go there. actually need not mkdocs material, but we do need pdoc used for building API documentation. Uh, user docs, API docs. And in this case, that's going to be kernwood.ca slash hd and, and you know what just because I'm kind of damn it uh, just do this real quick there we go that looks a bit nicer So that should be fine. Uh, and so I just changed the docs command. So now I should be able to do hd docs. Did I not? Oh, install that. Uh -huh. What just happened? Oh, I forgot a comma. There we go. So, as long as HD docs still works, the commands, then we're good. Didn't add a comma. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Let's go back. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, it would be up here where I'm making the call. <laughs> Gotta reinstall it. Luckily, on Windows, it automatically uninstalls and then installs, which is nice. Um, on Linux, for some reason, it doesn't actually properly uninstall when you just try and install a Python package. You have to actually explicitly state dash dash update, otherwise, it doesn't work. So, uh, and then we need dash dash API. Uh, what's happening here? Because this should be. Oh, this is why, if not offline. Whoops. What's happening? There we go. Hey, so right now this is just showing the exact same documentation, but this is going to be swapped to the API documentation. I'm going to build it with uh, PDOC. 
Perfect. Okay, cool. So if that's the case, so now we have docs separated. Uh, what's the next command? Config. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's quickly add in our uh, information for this one. Processes incoming arguments when the doc command is invoked. Docs command is invoked. Oops. Cook fix incoming. Here we go. Uh, and so this takes in two parameters, which are API. When specified shows API docs as opposed to UDI docs. Offline. When specified, we'll build local copy of docs instead of going to website. config. Uh, what I'm actually going to do here is da, 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 I'm going to split this right and then that way I can write at the same time. Nice. Right. So that's docs and then next let's do config. On oh this is going to cause issues. Um, actually, internally, I can call this configure. That's fine. Uh, so what do we have? Export, which is going to be a bool. That's going to be false by default. And then imports, which is also going to be OK. Uh, Okay, we're going to call this import config. It's going to be a bool, and that's also going to be false. It's going to return none. Check in our doc string. And we'll just make this double dot. Specified will import the uh, uh, will import the path. So there will have to be a little bit of processing. Yeah. Okay, 
so let's just copy this real quick. I think. Oops, no. I think that's everything. So hold on. So that should break everything else. That's inside. Okay. So here we're gonna want to do quick replace. Do do. Okay. Four. Okay, configure. So, do, 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 do. I think that's everything. That needs to be one out. So one thing is, um, by default, let's just quickly see, um, so as far as I remember, by default, If an argument isn't specified, it actually provides a none type and not a false, which might cause an error when trying to check against it. Um, okay, let's quickly see. Let's see if that's true. So, install dot. Let's quickly see. HD config. E, did that work? Yeah, it did, okay. So, we'll just delete that, so that didn't cause any issues. Just plain config, no issues. Dash I, or sorry, let's do dash E real quick, and then dash I dot HD config. Okay, cool, so uh, I can delete that then. I can delete that. And now we can remove all of this. Perfect. So this should this should make it a little bit simpler as well when reading it, uh, when reading the code, so yeah. Uh <laughs> This last one's gonna be weird. Okay, so first of all, let's write the doc string real quick for configure. Uh, it handles all the exporting and importing configurations. False if no path, otherwise a string representation of the path. Okay, so that should be fine. And now. What is this? Um, hmm. 
didn't. So that's just pre-processing for the commands and paths. That's fine. Uh, so I don't need to split that out into a function. But I should probably change regis. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's just grab this real quick. So comment that out. And then we'll just say define register. I don't remember what the parameters were, so I'm just gonna quickly copy that in. Da 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 da. So name, command, paths. I think commands gets overridden. Wait, argument name. Yes, yeah, so this overwrites the configuration. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's just do this. So let's just quickly grab arguments name, replace it with name. Oh, whoops. Was there only two usages in there? Really? Okay. Um, so yeah, so argument name. And then control F, we're looking for arguments command. And that's called commands. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Commands, commands. So in here, let's call commands command list. Where are we at? No, there. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. So that should be solved. I didn't, I guess I'm just not instantiating it anywhere. So that's interesting, I guess. Uh, so we want oops, that to be replaced by paths. And it.
anywhere else in here that has arguments in it. No, I don't see that. So, I think I'm good to go. Let's just quickly see. So, if the argument has register in it, we want to do register and then we want to do name commands paths. Name. Uh, command. Path. Is it path or paths? It's paths. Okay. Let's just double check this actually works. Okay, HD register, and then we'll just do testing. We'll do okay, e into, I don't know, dot. Or not. Unexpected indent on line 259. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is weird. Okay. This is a different indentation level. That would be what? Any of these that are different indentation level? Looks like they aren't. Let's try this one more time. Oops. Okay. Let's double check if that work. Config. Dash E. Take a look at AHD config. Does that include testing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So we'll go ahead and kill that. Um bum 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 bum. Let's add our add look string. If neither export or import config are specified, then use it just printed. Okay, so register. Mm -mm 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 -mm. String representation of the paths to execute the command with. Yeah. That should be fine. Command. Uh, commands to execute. Name. Name used to call the. Uh, Um, bum, 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 bum. Passing paths to this function. Sure. Okay. Cool. So. 
So... Yeah, so that's register finished. Uh, I don't think, let me just, I'm just gonna take a quick peek over this just one more time, just to make sure. But I don't think, auto completion file. Yeah, so let's just quickly WSL this. Python 3 dash and pip uninstall phd. I need to see to this. that I'm testing here is just to make sure that um, the register command is working properly. So I want to do hd register eat uh, echo eat in the current directory. Uh, this should throw an error. Okay, this is what I thought. So, what the hell was happening before? Of course, now I deleted it. Hold on. Uh, let me quickly open up the existing code. What was currently happening when you were registering? So, where's command list? Where's commands? Ah, that's why. Okay, so we need command underscore list here. That is why that's happening. <laughs> this, my friend, is why you write real tests. Perfect. Okay, so I got an error. I got an error, do an error doing this, which is good. And so now, HD. Okay, perfect. So I can register, and what happens if I register, try and register with just the name, prints the help text, and if I hit register, beautiful. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, um, so that is it for that. Now, the last one is dispatching. So, so we'll call this dispatch. Name. And uh, what's the last thing? Command and pads.
<laughs> so let's just grab this. Comment it out for now. And let's take a look. I think that's got the wrong indentation, right? Yeah. So the rest of that indentation was just messed up. Okay. So let's start from here, and then we'll just say I'm going to say name, and then replace that with just name. That's all I needed there. Config. What? Why am I doing post processing in here? What the hell? Okay, I'll have to clean this up a little bit. Um, but okay, so uh, config. So take the name. And the paths, but that's not even doing anything. What? Okay. I'm actually really confused here. This is. That doesn't do anything. What? Hold on. That can't possibly do anything, because paths isn't a. Uh... Argument, yeah, no, it's, is what? God, I'm so confused. What in the hell? Okay. So... Oh, I see. Sorry, this is this is accessing the configuration. Uh, okay, I need to put it out right there. Okay, let's split this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh... So, I don't think dispatching is actually doing anything. So, I think in this case, it's if not paths. Try that. Hold on. There's something I'm missing here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So I need to think about this. So if we're passing in paths, then we're passing in a custom list of paths. Yes. So if that's the case, they need to be pre and post processed. Right? Yes. Yes, they do. So, in that case, we actually need a conditional here to say. If arguments paths uh, then arguments paths needs to be equal to 
Pre-process pads. Reuse pads. This is equal to. Post process the pads. Process input commands. Okay. And then if So I guess in this case, what the first one we want is if not arguments paths and not arguments command. I think is that right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Then dispatch argument name. Dispatch, and then it's what? Arguments name and arguments path. Uh, and then the other case would be the other most common case, rather, would be the opposite, and not this one, which would just be the exact opposite of this. So we would want command. This is if both of them are specified. So then we want just a combination of the both of them, basically. And that. Perfect. <laughs> I actually don't need that there. That's just making things more complicated. So let's just do that. And that should be fine. Uh, okay, so dispatch. So if register is the name, do that and go from there. All right, perfect. Let's try this. Pip install dot. Let's do hd eat. Oh, that's good. My thing's been changed permanently. Nice. Okay. I got to fix that too. Um, <laughs> actually, I think that might be a bug with CMD more than it is with... Uh, with my stuff. So hold on. Uh, HD. Did I register yeet or did I register testing on this one? I can't remember anymore. Yeah, okay. So I did. I, I ran testing on this one. So that's why it wasn't working. So, okay. So, so the thing is working. So now if I do register, it should. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, if I do name that doesn't exist, we already saw that. 
Uh, so what else do I need to do? So H D eat echo yams instead. Oh right, I have to ec no. I have to do testing. Perfect. So right now it's not doing anything. So <laughs> so first of all, let's just try accessing config name. That'll tell us enough to know if it exists or not. Right. If that works, then we're good. If not, then it'll it'll break it. Whatever. Um, and then we'll say if not command. Then I can actually replace. Wait, I can just replace. What's it called? I can just replace current command with command because I don't need it. Yeah. So if not command, then go and fetch the command. Otherwise, pull it from there. And the same thing is going to be true for paths. So if not paths as well. Do the same thing. So that should be fine. Let us quickly see. No, come on. Cool. Okay. So Perfect. All right. Last thing is, let's just see. Uh, Tilde slash desktop. Nice. Okay. And uh, the other one was dot. Uh, if uh, if not command. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta think about this logically. So, if. Hold on, just one second. I'm also just closing the blinds real quick because I can't see anything on my screen anymore. Um, so, in this case, we would want for it to show up if command is false. So, if not command or. Uh, commands equals dot. Because one of the other things that I specified was the ability to skip over commands to be able to register paths. Perfect. Okay, so everything's been split up into actual functions now. Beautiful. So now we can get rid of that. And I think... So we have increased... Actually, I guess we haven't increased the source lines of code, really. Um, I, if you include documentation, then I guess technically, but... Shouldn't include documentation. <laughs> um, what about is that it? Was that everything? Well, that's I guess that's splitting everything into the yeah yeah. I guess they're all um, they're all there. Hmm. 
Interesting. Um, <laughs> let's do that. Natural variables, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, so, let's go ahead and add that before everything breaks. Um, splits. Parsing into functions, and then this should fail and it should give me the command I need. Set upstream origin. Bah. Look at that, nice one, cool. So that was number one done. What else do we have? API documentation. So that should be relatively simple. Um, let's create the function to generate the local ones first, and then we will create the, uh, the local docs. I also don't feel like writing all of the tests. I know, it's kind of bad. Um, finish writing CLI parsing tests. Uh, I just really don't feel like writing them. So I'm just gonna put that there. And that'll be the first thing that I do when I work on version five. Uh, but right now, so building local means I'm gonna have to Damn. I'm gonna have to include MK docs to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to include MK docs. Yeah, I really didn't want to do that. Um okay. So MK doc is gonna have to be included in there and so is P doc. Because that's the only way I can do this. I kind of wish so if anybody's ever used uh, go before um, then they would know or if you've used rust before uh, I really wish Python had this built in because both of these like both of these documentation libraries could easily be replaced if they just included a first party version of something like this but they literally don't so you have to end up getting a different um system and sphinx is terrible uh, i have used sphinx sphinx is awful um it's just overly complicated for what you need really and uh yeah so it's just i don't know they just like if they just included that it would make a big difference it would mean the documentation is actually worth writing right <laughs> it's really hard to argue the documentation is worth writing because it's just such a pain in the ass to set up so, I don't know. Um, that's my rant. My short little rant about this. Uh, okay, so in this case, if somebody... Oh, wait, hold on. Um, this isn't going to work. I don't think I can have people generate local docs because I don't think you can call a Python instance from a Python instance. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, maybe I can. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. So this is going to be in the, in the docs function. So if offline and not API, then what we want to do is we want to run sub process dot can i even process open this i actually don't know if i can so mk docs and then do you just i can't remember do you pass it as a string um i've already forgotten i've used i've used this in a while um mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Mm. Yeah, you just pass it as a string. Okay. Uh, where is this? There we go. MK docs dash dash serve. Uh, yeah. So in this case, we're going to want to print. Documentation will be available at local host. What is it run by default? 8080. Docs. So what we actually want to do here is we want to do CD. Oh God, what's the current? How do I get the current file directory again? Yeah, this is what I need. So CD into the current docs. Duh, blah. And then. Let's see if that works. I, I'm not, by the way, I'm not expecting this to work at all the first time. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't call a Python instance from a Python instance. But I may be incorrect, so let's, let's find out. Uh, so hd docs o. Oh, because uh, I have to do this as well. Okay. Maybe this will work. Let's see. Couldn't find the path specified. So what happens if I just do this? CD. No, CD dot and end MK docs dash dash. So does this work? Excuse me? What? I didn't literally just do that. Hold on. Am I just spelling this wrong? Serve. What is happening? Hold on. Am I just spelling things wrong? Dash dash. Oh, is it just MK docs serve? Ah. Yay. Okay. That's what it'd be why. Hmm. So, I wonder, what's the difference between subprocess.run and subprocess.popen? Process.run. Subprocess.popen, oh god. Okay, let's just try run. What do I have to do for this? So args. Oh my god. Why? Why is this so gross? Okay, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. See, we want that. We can get rid of that. Okay, so process dot what was it run? Yeah. Let's see if that works. I'm guessing it probably won't. I'm going out on a limb here and saying it probably won't work. HD docs dash. Oh. Yeah. Cannot find the file. Eh.
Hmm. Oh, maybe I can just do this. Hold on. Dot change directory. I should be able to just pass it this, right? Let's try it with that. Um, change dir and then what? OS dot and then what is it? Current path, yeah. I should change it back. Indeed. Couldn't find the file specified. What do you mean? Okay, let me just comment that real quick. Let me just make sure that I'm not going crazy. Is that not how you get the current file directory? I thought that was. Okay, so yeah, so that's, it's not working. Um, maybe I can do this if they have it done their main. Then I might be able to do this. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this probably won't work either because I think you could technically infinitely call Python, which would crash people's stuff. What? Site packages mkdocs.yaml. Oh, that's an easy fix. Is that the only thing that's not working? Really? I'm kind of surprised. Hold on. Let me quickly go to. I just want to make sure I don't screw this up. Um. Because I've screwed this up many times before. So let me just make sure that. Uh, just gonna steal some old code that I have lying around. Is it just. Yeah, it's, it is manifest.ini. And then you just type include in that. Okay, so include mkdocs.yml um, Do I have to change any packaging data? I don't think I do. Maybe I do. I'll find it really quickly. Docs. Yeah, so I must have to change it. What's it? What's the? Uh, I believe it's just this. Yeah, so no, so include package data is set to true. So hold on. Let's just quickly go to cd dot cd dot at data local yeah. Double check something because um, I don't think it actually copies it in here. I believe it copies it to. I thought you could reference it though. Maybe I am wrong. Um. So, okay, it's not included. It is lib? Site packages in here? Yeah, site packages. Uh, no, it should be the top, actually, sorry. HD, yeah, which is there. And none of it's in there. Hmm. I thought it would be. Why is it not? 
there anything else that I'm missing? Hold on. Let me just quickly, I'm just going to quickly sift through this. And let me just make sure it is manifesto I am, right? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Manifesta I and I. That's our culprit, culprit right there. Okay. Install. Stop. Okay. Uh, so that claims that that doesn't exist. Still. Okay, but scripts, AHD is there. Hold on. Include. This shouldn't make a difference, I don't think. Maybe? It really shouldn't, though. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Site packages, and it's not there. So the AHD configuration is there, but not the mkdocs.yaml. Let me just make sure that I have this right. This is spelled right, dear. And include is spelled right. Single space. Okay. Um, hold on. Um. <laughs> hmm. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm reading. I just realized I'm reading the documentation on my other monitor. Um, I don't know if I can include the manifest file. Hmm. Um, yeah, I actually don't know if I can. So what I'm going to test here, so what if I do this? So what if I do mkdocs uh, build? I don't remember where it builds it to, but let's just build it. So it's called site, okay. All right. So let's just try this. So let's do include slash site. I'm oh, sorry, no, site slash star. Okay. And then in here we want, no, where's web browser? Web browser dot open. Okay, uh, first of all, let's try this. Let's try this. So Python import web browser. Web browser dot open new and then whatever site slash index dot html. Uh huh. Well, that's not quite what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, God, okay. 
Is there anything about being able to open... It's literally just a URL. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, how about... Oh, you know why? Okay. Uh, I don't know why this is opening up in... Here. But, let's try this then. No, okay. Um, open local HTML file. Which rather? Oh, you gotta do file colon, that's fine. That actually makes a lot of sense. And then that. No? Oh. Okay. We got something. Uh, okay, so file. Is that just because this is wrong? Because where are we? We're in a... Oh, no, we're in the main HD. Sorry, so that's why. Because that's wrong. See what we got. Nothing. Why is this also acting as the default? That's weird. Okay. File. Ah, hold on. Let's do this. Um. And then, uh, uh, colon, and then what do you need? Slash, slash. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that worked, uh, but that's not what I wanted. <laughs> um, I don't know why it's not opening with a web browser. Uh, but that does work. Oh, is that because my, hold on. That might be because my default is set. Although that's dumb. That's really dumb if that's why. Hold on, uh, uh, sorry, no, it's, where is this? Um, to hold on. So, um, what am I doing? Site. I really hope this isn't why this is happening. No, stop it. Uh, choose another app. No, stop. Sure, do that. Works. Cool. Although that's good. It looks like it's broken. So. Okay, so that does work. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, so it's just hooking into... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's do this. Ugh. Uh, so this CD is into the current directory what? goes into this OS dot yeah okay so I need to go one directory up and then OS dot set and then site and then I need what web browser dot open Web browser dot open file. That. Okay. Let's try that. I would be absolutely shocked if this worked. Genuinely have zero faith that this will actually do anything. 
Hey. Eat. All right. So it did absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I don't know if you can reference paths like that, so maybe like that. Who knows? Let's just try things. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Wait, that actually work? Uh, no. But something happened. Okay. Okay. So... Why not? It, can I just do web browser dot open instead of open new? I don't know if that makes a difference. Let's see. I assume the call is different. Okay, that didn't help at all. Um, I don't understand what ha what's happening here. I don't understand why it's opening that. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, whoops. Uh, that would be why. Because the path doesn't exist. So it's throwing an error and defaulting to the home page because it's not designed to do that. Nope, it just doesn't work. Cool. All right. Well, we got our answer there. Um, so why? Why, why, why? Oh, I stop path, thought real path. We'll try apps path. Oops. Why, why, why? Let's just try some things now. Let's just see what happens. I'm so defeated at this point. So. Okay. Um, when in doubt, print stuff. Let's try this. Let's see what we got. Does this actually work? Put it in the browser. No. Is the file in, uh, no, this is the wrong one. Lib site packages HD, no. So, why, god damn it, this is probably why it's not working. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, HD docs. All right, so that didn't work either, but uh, let's go back. So none of this is copying. I don't understand. Um, this manifest stuff all is pretty arcane. To be honest with you, it's kind of janky. Um, but I actually genuinely don't understand why this isn't running. Uh, basically, this isn't including any information. Um... And so I actually can't do anything if that's the case. Uh, the other option that I could do is inside setup. So instead of site, let's do Does MKDOX have a PDF? Dash H. <sighs> Why? I don't understand. I thought there was a way to get this to be a PDF. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, MK Docs. How there was a way to do this? Uh, 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 uh. 
Okay, so let's just try this. Sure. Why not? Let's just keep adding random dependencies. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. So we need plugins. Let's see what's going on. Uh, so when I'm running this, I basically want to run mkdocs build. How does this work? Install. But what does this actually do? You can customize, okay. Oh, I see, it just does it inherently. Okay. Uh, so mkdocs build. I guess that's it. Just build. Uh, so first, let's install this. Um, let's just see what actually happens when I do this. Why is it using wagtail? What the hell? Hold on. Yeah, wait, what in the hell? Okay, no. No, 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 no. That's going out the window. Right now. That is not worth it at all. What the hell? Why is it using wagtail? What? Excuse me? Wait, one of these requires wagtail? What the hell? What the f okay. That makes zero sense. Um, okay, I don't know how I can do this then. I don't know how, like I don't know what to do about this. MKDocs plugin it takes everything. Okay. Perfect. Cool. So let's do this instead, because this is less awful. Let's just, let's just put my name in. I don't know. Let's just put my name in. Okay, so let's change this to, what, what is this called? MKPDA PDS doc. By the way, if you're ever doing something like this, you want to research stuff before you do this. Um, before you just chuck it in your build. Um, I am going to go through and read this information afterwards. Okay, do to build. Let's just see if this even works. Invalid configuration option. This is good. This just doesn't work. All right. Oh my God. Why? Why? Why is this so hard? You just can't. You just can't export it to PDF. I don't understand why. Just straight up. Okay, one second. Using CSS. What? Is this the same one? God damn it, stop it. 
Hold on, let me just make sure that that was my pip just being weird. Oh wait, do I have wet? Hold on, do I just have wagtail still? Ah, okay, it's like wagtail still. All right, let's just kill that because I don't need wagtail anyways. Okay, so. So the one thing I think I have to change here is I have to make this material. If I remember correctly. Aha. Aha. Okay. So this just doesn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's just uninstall this again. Okay. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't have a good other option though. This is the problem. Like, if people want the user documentation, if I I, I can't get the manifest thing to do this, I, I don't understand why. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I'm literally verbatim copying one of the configurations that I'm using on another project. And it's just straight up not working at all. Um, so if that's the case. <sighs> Why, like, I just, oh god, this is tilting me. I don't understand why this isn't working. Because the file opening should be fine, but it just isn't. It just, it just doesn't copy it, and I don't understand why. Because there's absolutely, like, there, there isn't any reason why it shouldn't. Manifest. Like, I'm including everything, right? Include site. Okay, let's just include site. Let's try this. Um, install dot. Like, we'll see this show up if it worked. And it didn't. So, it, it, this, this won't work at all. Yeah. But I don't... I don't actually understand why this is doing it though. Like this, this literally makes no sense whatsoever, because this is exactly what the manifest file is built with. But I've, I've honestly never gotten it to work. Like I've gotten it to work. That's not true. I have it working on a project that I had to work on um, for my job, but I, I remember it was basically just a matter of just straight up brute force. Like, it was just constantly trying things until it eventually worked. Um, so... Based on what you want, manifest, so include... Apples, apples, food... Is this because of local? No, it shouldn't make a difference if I'm building it locally. It should make absolutely zero difference if I build it locally versus building it from pip. Like, I don't... This actually just makes zero sense. Like, I, I don't... I don't understand. Like, maybe... Hold on. Let me try this. So the suggestion on there is to just do that. What do you mean that? Oh my god. What? Seriously, I'm literally on the Python documentation and the suggestion isn't working. So, I don't know. 
You know what? Maybe... Maybe this whole offline docs thing is just a bad idea. Um, maybe I'll just have... To, maybe I'll just do this some other time. <sighs> yeah, okay. Let's just do that. I'm just going to get reset hard. Let's just kill all of those changes. God, that sucks. It's so annoying. Because... God, that's so annoying. Like, there's zero reason why that needs to... Why it needs to be that diff... Ugh. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, API documentation. Uh, I'll generate that in a second. Um, let's actually... Hold on. I don't know why it's in here. Let's get rid of this. Just make sure there's nothing hanging around. No. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's... Let's just do PDOC. Uh, let me just make sure there's nothing else left in my thing. Okay. Uh, pip install dot... Oh, uh, list command. Sorry. Whoops. My bad. Let's go through list first. Uh, uh, docs and list. And we'll just say not dash v. What's another? Um, Dash L. Dash dash long, I guess. Why not? Okay. Uh, um, version, yeah. Dash L. Dash long. All uh, commands in configuration with paths and commands. Yeah. Okay, so let's just implement something called list. So let's just do another thing. Is this. Did I put this one first? Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's just go with right after main. Okay, define list, uh, list commands. Um, long is equal to false. So, uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, if oath stop path that exists, then uh, configuration is equal to config parser. So I'm just going to create a config and a separate config parser. Shouldn't make a ton of a difference, but I just don't want to check to see if there's any state changes that have happened. Um, so what I want to do for this, so config.read, and then we'll just say for command in configuration. Print command, and then if long print command, um, what is it? Is it commands or command? I don't remember. Uh, HD config uh, 
dash E. If I double check, it's command and then paths. And paths. Um, mm, 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 mm. And let's just put this into a nice little format string. F, F. Wrap this up. And uh, wrap this up. And then we'll just say command. So, bop, 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 bop. in here, we'll say if arguments list, called list, right? Yep. If arguments list, uh, list commands with arguments, whatever. Dash dash long, I think it's called. Okay, let's try this. Uh, come on. Dot. So let's try this. Cool. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Somehow this works. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. List and then dash L. String indices must be. L what? what? Am I looking at? Let's just do this. I don't care. Wait, hold on. Just call this action. I don't really care. I don't care at this point. <laughs> I'm just I'm so dumb. <laughs> uh, path. Yeah, let's just grab this. Do that. And let's do action here. Path here. Okay. Let's see. HD list, HD list dash L. A string indices must be list. What? Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, that's actually my bad. Configuration, that's one. Hold on. No, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that absolutely is my bad. Oops. Okay. Let's dash L. Kill. Um, aim. Let's just do backslash N or something like that. And then backslash T, backslash T. So, uh, I suppose I could probably use colored to do this. Uh, 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 yeah, let's do colored on top of this. Uh, so, where is... Raise file... Oh. File, or no, file not found error. And then within that, we will put. Er, no, we don't want to do that. We'll do that. 
And then at the end of this, we want to exit because we don't want it to keep parsing afterwards. Um, mm, 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 where is my error? Error -y things. Uh, yeah. There it is. So. I want to do that. Uh, let's just check on color. Python. Uh, let's just double check. What are the foreground colors? What is deep pink? Sure, fifty-three. Print. Nice. Cool. Let's do that. That seems like kind of a meme. Wow, that is just straight up purple. What do you mean deep pink? 53, where's just pink? I want something ridiculous. What's, what's a good, is there just regular cyan? Cyan six, okay. So I need six. Uh, six, there we go. And then at the end, what's white again? I don't remember, it's some weird number. 15. Why? I don't, I will never understand why white is 15. I just, I don't. I just don't get it. So no matter what, at the end of this, we want to go back to resetting the terminal color. I don't know why it retains it. It's kind of weird. Oops. Reset terminal text to white. I guess this probably also screws stuff up if you are um, uh, where's the HD list? There we go. Okay, so let's pick a different color. Let's do Sure. Let's do a horrible yellow color. Perfect. That's what I wanted. That was what? 100? Perfect. That's easy to remember. So, we want to do this, and we want to do 100. That'll make it that horrible yellow color. Which is exactly what I want. That's what I want from my life. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Dear God, that's awful. Okay. Uh, um, all right. Yeah, this is this is enough for me today. <laughs> Jesus, I'm, uh, I'm. I'm just yeah. Yeah. All right. That's enough for me today. I think. Uh, let's just do space it by two, and then it'll be a bit easier to read. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I should actually... Pr actually, you know what might be better? I might just delimit each of them. Instead. That seems more reasonable. Um, <laughs> so, I think... Just doing something like that might actually be better. Uh, or maybe let's put it above. Last one. This should be good. 
list dash L. Oh, one is not what I thought it was. What is it? Fifteen. God damn it. Yeah, let's just put it at the top. That should be fine. Perfect. And should be done. Look at me. Look at me with my features. <laughs> this is kind of a horrible feature, but there you go. Uh, and then if I don't specify dash L. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, so if not wrong, just print that. Or actually, let's just let's just do this. If long, then print that and that. Else, just just print that. That should be reasonable. Yeah, that should be fine. That seems more. Yeah, that seems better. Because then, if I have dash l specified, then I just get the command like that. I just do list. I just get that. Yeah, that seems fine. Um, so I should just do it at the beginning. Just like that. I'm sure I can come back and like fix this and make it not quite so awful later on down the road, but hey, okay, cool. So, um. <laughs> And then I can actually just do this as well, because that, that should specify that we're good, yeah. Yeah, so I actually shouldn't need it for there, which means I don't need a format string. Perfect. Oh yeah, let's try this one last time. And this should be good. This should be the end of it. Perfect. Perfect. All right. There we go. Got everything I needed. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So uh, now that that's all done, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just end the stream. Uh, I think that was the last thing that was in there. Let me just quickly double check. Uh, 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 API docs. Oh right. Yeah, so let's just quickly put comments in here. Um, uh, currently in config. Uh, 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 parameters. Actually, long is a pretty bad name. Let's change. Let's change this to verbose. <laughs> uh, long, and then let's change that to verbose, because that's more of a, a standard. Yeah, verbose and verbose. Is there a way? Hold on. Can you do overriding like this? Is that possible? It's kind of horrible, but is it possible? Be interested. Let's just see. It's a really bad idea, but so are a lot of things that I do. So let's just see. Hey. Okay. So no. Absolutely not is the answer to that question. <laughs> So, where's verbose? Long. And. Uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, control F. Where's the next one? Is it just there and there? Okay, cool. Perfect. Verbose. When specified, we'll print both the command name and associated commands plus paths. Perfect. Uh, let's just cut it there. Okay. Okay, commenting is all done. So we have a list command in there. Let's just quickly reinstall, make sure we didn't break too much. Let's double check to make sure that I actually, yep, dash L and non dash L. And if I do dash V, it breaks. Yeah, oh, I gotta change the version number. Good point. HD version 0 0.4. Was there anything else? I suppose I probably could run the tests as well, just real quick. Validated, didn't break anything to do with the parsing. And I'll go through and write the tests for this, for this new functionality that I've done where I've split up all the functions. Uh, I'll do that in the next version, I just, I'm kinda done. <laughs> kinda done with today. So, uh, ba 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 ba. Perfect. Okay. Nothing else was broken. So, I'll have to deal with this at some point. This is kind of a disappointing release. Oh, uh, I have to make the change log. I this is what the change log out. Good point. Uh, I really should put this in the Nox file, actually. Have you updated tests, inline docs, release page? change log. Nice. Um, mm, 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 mm. What is it today? Today is the 10th. So February 10th. Uh, focus for this release was breaking up command line parsing into more testable chunks. Features. Oh, uh, argument parsing. Functions. Uh, da, 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 da. What else did I add? Added a list command to show your current. Uh, available commands, which means I also need to update the documentation, and what else did I add? Did I really do anything else? Um, oh, documentation, this is what we're about to do, created uh, API documentation site. So, uh, 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 I think that is everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit this last little piece here, uh, which is, hold on, is this still including Nox files? Or, er, no, it's not. Okay, good. Git commit dash m. And 
Oh, whoops. 0 0.4.0, my bad. And what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else do we have? Uh, 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 oh, right, I need to update these dependencies. Nope, oh, they've already been changed back. Perfect, okay. So, is there anything else that I need to do? Docs. Uh, I do need to update the quick start. And do I have to update the index as well? No, just the quick start. No usage. Yeah, usage. Okay, because AHD now has additional commands. New and improved. AHD. Okay. That oh, whoops. Cool. Usage. Uh, so arguments, so I need list. So I don't think I will need any other commands. <laughs> Let's hope so. Uh, additional user development uh, available there. Also, API documentation is available at the HTTPS console.ca slash AHD. And let's just grab that. And there we go. That. Okay. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Okay. I don't. So if I install this real quick, I actually don't think. If I do HD. Local host, let's do 8080. I don't believe that when I head here, it's gonna work. Why not? Uh, 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 uh. I expect the argument type or reload. Include a bunch of the README information. Kind of want to. Um, okay. So. So what 
modules. We have what? Auto cut. Oh, oops. Auto complete. And CLI. Auto complete. Grab that. CLI. So I do this is just HTML. No, oh my god. Uh, 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 HD. What is happening? String object has no. Wow, I am really confused as to what's happening. Hold on. Uh, let's just uh, let me just quickly grab here. Oh, did I forget the three? Ah, oh, damn! That's what's happening. Damn. Okay, now I got to uninstall P Duck. Yeah. That would be why. Okay. PDOC dash dash HTTP local host 8080 and sorry, it's HD. Uh huh. What's happening here? Pip uninstall. Okay. Just make sure there's nothing else to do with PDOC installed. Uh da 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 Okay, pip install. Yeah. Oops. Okay, you know what? Fresh terminal. Fresh life. New me. Pip install through PDOC 3. Okay, cool. Bdoc hd dash dash http localhost 8080. Nice. Let's give it a refresh. Nice. Okay. Hd. Perfect. Alright, this is what I need. <sighs> so, modules, so HD, autocomplete, and CLI. File houses the primary entry point for bash. Yep. Top level module. Okay, so let's start actually building this out a little bit. So, let's just get rid of all these extra tabs. Okay. So. Um, what would people even want to use this as an API for? I actually don't really know. I mean, it's probably good to have the documentation out there anyways, just so it's easily parsable, but I don't actually really know what people would. Um, <laughs> was there anything about, so if I go back, is he alive or anything fancy? Um, I guess not, but I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Yeah. Um, I think that's 
pretty reasonable. I already have much documentation in there, so I guess I don't really need anything. Um, as an API. And I guess I actually, I don't even need this top level overview of the modules, because I guess it already kind of builds it for you. So I think I can actually just do that. And let me just quickly double check HTML. Uh, 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 Chrome. Yeah. That seems pretty reasonable. So I guess, uh, with that being said, HD autocomplete as an API. If you are here to help or contribute, Project. Check out the development guide. I'm kind of stuck with read the docs now, so just put that in there. Cool. Yeah, and dot get commit dash m updated remaining documentation. Perfect. Uh, so now the last thing I need to do is just go on to GitHub, start up a release, and grab the changelog information. Uh, release, draft new release. Uh, let me just grab the changelog. And let's see the raw. Grab that. February 10th. 0 0.4.0. Save the draft of it real quick. And I think. So I think that's everything. Nothing else has really been changed. Just got to generate that site. So, what we're going to do is I am going to open this up on my desktop and I'm just going to do um, pdoc hd dash dash html and do git check, no, oops, let's go in here. And we're going to do git checkout v0.40. Oh, sorry, uh, git checkout. Uh, pages, rather. Okay, and so what we're gonna do here is we are actually just gonna like ax essentially everything. Yeah, basically just kill the whole thing, and then we just grab these. Drop them in there. And let's just double check and make sure that everything's working as we expected. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. So. in an incognito, oops, incognito window. Nice. 
All right. Okay. So, get rid of that. Um, let's merge version 0.4, I guess. Uh, let me just actually run through real quick. And we're going to do git checkout v 0.4.0. This is on, yeah. Okay. Well, this is fully updated, right? Yeah, fully updated. So I don't need that open. Okay. So let's fire up a quick release. Because we have the code already on GitHub, anyways, so we can just fire up the release and make sure that everything's all good. Okay. Wait, why is it installing MK Docs one? What? Excuse? Wait, why is MK Docs building? What? No, I don't need that. Okay. Uh, I have on the tests actually. Yes. I've updated the inline docs. I've updated the change log. Uh, have you updated the docs folder documentation? Yep, yeah, I did that. Uh, release page, yep. Yeah. Readme docs, yep. Yeah. Look at that. Look at me go. Zooming my way through things. Alright. All right, all right, there we go. Version 0 0.4 is released. Um, so I can come back in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly change that, make that same change I just did. I'm just gonna get rid of the weird building stuff. Remote documentation and building. Cool. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and we're going to do a pull request. Merging version 0 0.4.0 changes. Got that. <laughs> So, no, oh, wait, hold on. Did I make that? I just move over here. Damn it. Why? Actually, that formatting is weird, general. What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Let's just quickly... Let's just quickly fix that formatting. So we're going to delete site. We're going to delete dist. We're going to delete build. We're going to delete egg. I really should just write something to fix that at some point. But it's a lot of effort. Um, No, oh, this is going to cause some grief, so I'm just going to delete the file. And then just when I get pull. <laughs> nice. And uh, what was the last thing I was doing? I'm fixing the file back. So let's go back to here. Let's actually just. I don't know why this is doing this. Because what does this do? Make sure this still works. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? You know, it'd be kind of cool. Hmm. 
I'm afraid to do this as well. Um. Six commands detected. You know what if I do this? Dash L, six commands detected. Cool. So, anything else? Any other weirdness I can think of before I go ahead and publish this release? I don't think so, but what I will do. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, this actually doesn't need to be part of this. Well, I can actually do this right after the parsing here. That might be better. This is more of a top level thing. And then same thing with that. And then same thing with that. Just so it doesn't even bother trying to parse stuff afterwards, just because I think that's kind of useless. So I don't think I need any of that where it says exit. There we go. So I don't have to have multiple calls to exit anymore, which is nice. Uh, now this one I should just return. Um... <laughs> So I do actually need explicit calls. Damn. That sucks. Well, at least I managed to put it down. Actually, I don't even think this is doing anything. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's just straight up ignoring it. <sighs> yep, yeah, it's just straight up ignoring this. So I can actually get rid of that. that. Cool. Oh. Stop it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. So I think that's everything. So just final touches and cleanup, I guess. It was basically the gist of that. I also don't need that anymore. Um... Get commit dash m final touches and clean up. Get push. Nice. Okay. Merge this and I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. So let's go ahead and let's just refresh this, which will probably, let me just double check. Hold on. And 
is that? Fix. What? Hold on. Okay. What? Okay. I don't know. Wait. Oh, God. Can I just. Can I cancel this? Can I close this? Is there an option to not? Can I just cancel? God damn it. What? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a readme. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> there we go, there's a CLI. Yeah, whatever the readme can look like garbage, I don't care anymore. Alright. Grab that. Create the pull request. Uh, is this details? What's failing? Hold on. What? Wait, what? Why are the Windows paths even running? Okay, so that's a broken test. Or, well, I guess it's a broken CI. And macOS is broken. What? Why is 3.4? Hold on. What? 3.6 works, but 3.5 didn't? That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, God. I don't care. I don't care anymore. You know what? I don't care. Don't care. I don't care. Don't care. CICD is garbage. Absolute trash. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to merge the pull request. What? This is kind of dumb. Confirm the merge. Delete the branch. Perfect. Okay. Merge the 4.0 changes, which means in the release notes, I can go into here. I can edit. And with, let me just retarget master so it updates. And let's just, yeah, master. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining me. If you did join me, I don't think there's many people who joined me. Uh, I don't blame them. This was probably quite a boring live stream. Um, but if you did join me, then thank you for watching. Um, be sure to check out my YouTube channel uh, on Canadian Coding if you want to see some more um, lively coding videos. Uh, this one was more just me getting tilted about a lot of garbage in Python and how packaging works. But uh, yeah, so th thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.